All right, Nick, let's talk about the Florida State Seminoles. Uh, they have a lot of news going along the transfer portal, whether it's recruit. There's been a lot of additions to Florida State uh, in the past few weeks, Nick. They've been getting a lot of traction, and I think they're looking like a very, very strong team for this coming season. But we have a story about an even bigger addition that they have gotten through the transfer portal, probably one of the biggest moves of the offseason so far. And we're going to get into that in just a second. But, Nick, before we get into that, I got to ask the Seminoles fans, you've had so many additions, a lot of nice key recruits, some big transfer portal players. I've got to know in the comments below, who are you the most excited about new addition-wise to this Seminoles team? They're just getting stronger, getting ready for this next season. Let us know in the comments below who you're the most excited about. But, Nick, give the Seminoles fans the latest update on this new transfer portal addition. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head. Florida State has been absolutely active and, and been more and more dominant teams, both recruiting into the transfer portal, and they aren't done. So this was first reported by SB Nation. I'm just going to read through the report here. Mike Norvell and his coaching staff have developed an excellent national reputation for evaluating and landing talented players in the transfer portal. That reputation was enhanced yet again as Florida State has secured the commitment of perhaps the best offensive player in the portal, Virginia Cavaliers cornerback Fintrell Cypress. Cypress, of course, is the all-ACC corner uh, out of Virginia. He's an outstanding football player. He'll come in right away and be a top-notch defender for this Florida State defense. And, and minus, we've seen Norvell in this program make all kinds of big moves already this offseason. They're fresh off the big bowl victory over a fellow Blue Blood Oklahoma. I know Oklahoma was 6-6, six and six, a little bit of a disappointing year for that team, but it's still very talented. So a big win by Florida State to handle business and get that victory in the bowl game. Now you add in all these transfer portal victories. He's recruiting wins and everything just going in the right direction right now for Florida State. A 10 wins, a 10 win season under Norvell. They look like to be headed potentially even better next year, maybe even compete with Clemson. I think they've got a strong chance to compete with Clemson at the top of the ACC. What are your thoughts on this move and just everything with Florida State right now and all the energy and momentum behind this program? Yeah, Nick. So about Cyprus, Cyprus looks like to be a really good player. Uh, he had some good seasons at Virginia, but I know him from high school, Nick, coming out of Rock Hill, South Carolina, uh, where I am from and you are now at. We're both from South Carolina. And he came out of Northwestern High School, which was a pretty top-notch high school in the 4A region, Nick. Especially this year, they've started off. They had a really great season this year. Uh, they were 13-2 and two this year, one of the higher-end programs. So they play a lot of top talent. Uh, they play in uh, a really tough division. There's a lot of tough teams. So they produce a lot of good guys. So he came out of a good high school program. He went to Virginia, a team that also has been good on the defensive side of the ball for a while. And being one of the top defensive players in the portal, uh, adding on to this Florida State defense, I think that's really, really big here, Nick, because Florida State can use all the help they can get to try to get this return to prominence we spoke about in our previous videos. You know, all these recruits are getting Florida State back on track to be the powerhouse that they used to be. You know, they had years and years of dominance for a while, Nick. Florida State was a team to be reckoned with. And I think an addition like Cypress really gets them back on track defensively and is going to have a lockdown secondary approach. Yeah, I agree with that 100%. And the thing with Florida State right now that is so bizarre is usually a lot of teams, when they have a lot of big transfer portal moves coming in, they also have a lot of guys leaving or they graduated a lot of guys to the NFL, you know, players not coming back for senior year or going out to transfer. That's not happening with Florida State, right? We already talked about Jordan Travis is coming back. Um, linebacker uh, Karen Deloach has returned as well. They're, they've already been very active in the transfer portal. We did a video about them getting Bell from South Carolina. What a steal that was. And, that, and they're not done. So this past New Year's Day, defensive tackle Fabian Lovett Sr. said he would be returning to play for the Seminoles as well. He's a def really nice defensive tackle. I'm a big fan of his big, strong guy up against the run, kind of a disruptor. That was reported by uh, Noel Game Day on Fan Nation. So again, you're seeing they're not just you know bringing in guys to replace guys that graduated or left in the transfer portal. Guys are staying. Good football players are staying in Tallahassee, and they're bringing in new guys both in transfer portal and through the recruiting trail. Everyone seems to want to play with Mike, uh, play under Mike Norvell and be part of this FSU program right now. There's a lot of energy and momentum. The trend is definitely the friend right now for Florida State. 
I would not be surprised at all, Myers, if we look, you know, if we fast forward 365 days to the new year uh, of 2024, if Florida State is playing potentially in the college football playoff or one of these New Year's uh, six bowls, one of these bigger bowls, because right now it seems elite players, they either want to stay in Florida State or come to Florida State. The momentum right now is fully behind Tallahassee. And if I I was a Seminoles fan, I could not be more excited because everything looks great for this program right now.